Well, I think our big, you know, our big concern, you know, coming back is that, you know, we, we lost a lot of experience uh, on our basketball team last year. You know, Kaysen Henson returns as a junior. Uh, our leading scorer, uh, Connor Snap, who started almost every game last year, is back. And other than that, we're going to be very young. I mean, uh, Riley Maston, a transfer from St. Pat, who didn't play his freshman year, um, he's going to uh, – Help us immediately, you know, 6'5", 190. Uh, definitely a, a great kid to get, get into your program and into your school. Uh, and then, we're, you know, we're looking at a freshman, uh, freshman and eighth graders. We've got a couple of juniors. And I think the good thing about it is we don't have a lot of varsity experience back, but we have a lot of kids back that, that are going to be able to help us on the court. We, we've got a few juniors and uh, Mike and Matt Jones, uh, Evan Brooks, another junior. And then we've got a nice freshman class with Kylan Henson, and Will Kelsch, and, and then Chase Archibald's an eighth grader. So, you know, we've got a lot of kids that we feel like can help us and uh, move forward uh, with this basketball team for sure. Coach, we kind of ended abruptly, you know, there in March with, you know, the, the boys turn not even getting to be played there. The girls were five games into it. This whole COVID situation, I know you're still shuffling schedules around too. How difficult has that been for you? I think you're going to have to. I think we all know we're going to have to be very flexible, and we're going to have to be ready to to act maybe the day of. You know, Robertson County just contacted us last night. Our second game of the season is already canceled, and uh, because of COVID, and so we're working to scramble to make up a date. And you know, I think everybody understands that we're in a, we're in a very different time, very different, very different situation, and and we've just got to play it day by day and, and be ready to, to move if we to find a game as soon as we can. I know you mentioned some of those guys, uh, Coach, that, that you know are returning that uh, you expect to be stars this season uh, to step up for your team. Uh, let's introduce some of those guys. Do you mind, Coach? No. Uh, we could start with Kaysen Henson. Um, he'll be a junior, uh, 26 points uh, from 1,000, I believe. And obviously, he's my son. Um, he's kind of our leader. Um, he's he's logged. He's been playing starting varsity since he was a freshman. Uh, definitely a great teammate. Uh, gets everybody involved, and uh, you know had a had two games last year where he had triple doubles. Uh, you know, twelve points, ten rebounds, and ten assists is a pretty good night in high school basketball. So, very unselfish, great teammate, and. Uh, Definitely somebody that, that I think everybody would like to have on their team for sure. Okay, so what's it like playing for Dad? Uh, I mean, it's great. I feel like he always trusts me with the ball in my hands, always. And I feel like it's always good to have someone you can trust by your side and with the ball whenever. What can you tell us about your, uh, your teammates? Uh, my teammates are great. I played with a few of them before, like in JV and stuff like that. but. Uh, I'm super excited to have Riley on the team this year. I think he's going to be a big help for us on the rebounding things. And he's just a big guy who can score the ball and get rebounds. Uh, if, you, if you were to uh, write a script about how this uh, 21 season, I guess we can call it 21 season, Coach, right? Because right. we're, yeah. we're not playing in 2021. But uh, let's, uh, let's talk about that for a second, Kaysen. If you can write a script for how this season will go. What's your expectations? Uh, I think we're really going to surprise the people. I think people are think we're just going to be like an easy win for them or that we're not going to be much competition. But I think people are going to see when we get out there on the floor how competitive we can be. All right, this, this is Connor Snap. Connor is uh, uh, going to be a sophomore, sophomore this year. He started almost every game last year for us, had a breakout game against Tees Valley up in the Greenup County. And, Kind of earned his way into the starting lineup. Uh, was coming off the bench early, early in the season last year, and really had a, a lot of great games for us. And uh, you know, we've kind of looked to him for leadership with him and Kaysen this year. And uh, you know, great student. You know, all these kids are great students, and just very proud of the, of the men that they are, the men they are becoming. So, Connor Snap. Connor, what uh, what do you think playing for coach and playing in this historic gym as well? Um, I like I like playing for Coach a lot. He he really pushes me in practice, and he, he's always getting on me and always challenging me to do better. And every every day, he's always he's always getting at me and everything to do my best and make myself a leader up to these younger kids that are playing and gonna be coming off the bench. Yeah, 
And uh, what what do you think about your teammates this season? And uh, what what's your outlook for the for the team? Um, like Kaysen said, I played with him like in the fifth grade, and we had pretty good chemistry. And then he came, they finally came back, and I, it was I was like, very excited. I was extremely excited. Then Riley, I I would play in St. Pat League. He was always a tough one to handle and everything. He's gonna be a great. Um, person to include in this team and then everyone else is just very hard working and I can trust them with the ball and everything. Okay. Now we have Riley Maston with us. He is a newcomer to the Augusta Independent School. He comes from us from St. Pat where last year he did not play basketball. Uh, he started as an eighth grader at St. Pat uh, for them and was actually a point guard, a uh, point guard and a shooting guard for them. Uh, he's hit a little bit of a growth spurt. He's about 6'5 now, about 190. He's playing the post. We're trying to get him to understand where he needs to be. And uh, Riley's a great kid, fits in well. Uh, all our kids are, are very quiet and, and willing to be coached, and, and Riley's no different. So, uh, Riley Maston. Riley, your outlook on the season? I think we're going to have a really great season. Uh, I've really meshed in with my teammates coming down here, and. We've got really good chemistry, so I think we'll surprise some teams that don't think we'll beat them. Uh, I think I bring physicality and a post presence. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a lot bigger than most people on my team, so I think that'll play a big factor this season. Yeah. Are you looking to get a lot of rebounds and blocks and yes. that type of thing? <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping to get quite a few rebounds, quite a few blocks, and contesting a lot of shots. Would uh, would you say that uh, you're more of a defensive guy or, or a scorer? I'm prob probably more of an offensive person myself. But I'd take pride in defense too. Yeah. All right. A lot of put back buckets. Yes. Yeah. Um, playing during uh, COVID with the practice schedule, coach, uh, you know, uh, how's that affected your, your practice, you know, getting ready for the season? Well, it's definitely a different preparation for sure, taking temperatures, uh, you, you know, washing hands. Uh, when we take water breaks now, it's water break, sanitize your hands. And, and get back out here. You know, we, we've given every kid an individual hand sanitizer to make sure they keep in their bags to sanitize. And, you know, we're trying to do everything we can. After practice, spraying the balls down, they're coming in and fogging. You know, knock on wood, we've been very, very lucky that we haven't had any type of issue yet. And, uh, you know, I, and I think that commends these kids. You know, we've asked them to stay home. We've asked them to go to practice and stay home or hang out with their teammates. I think that's the big thing for us they're not doing a lot of extracurricular and they're staying in and then they're taking this season serious and because it's only going to take one person right. one of us to shut us down for a while so you know they they've done a really good job of keeping it together coming in and practicing every day making sure we're washing our hands and doing all those things that we need to do and, and keeping our social distance when we can coach you open on the road uh, against your rival Bracken County just down the down the road, down the highway here. Um, what what do you got to say about that game? Well, I think everyone's excited. You know, we did play for a long time, and we started playing again. Obviously, if you don't know, I I left here and went there and coached for four years, and uh, you know I came back. So it, there's a little bit extra excitement there. You know, the, at Coach Reed is was here. We've kind of flip flop places. He was. <laughs> it, it's kind of crazy and. You know, a, a whole other story in itself. Uh, but, uh, you know, very very excited for the kids. Uh, I mean, the kids need to have that rivalry. I played at Bracken. You know, when you played Augusta, it meant something. You know, Coach Snap, our staff, is, you know, he played at Augusta. When, when, they, when we play each other, it's just fun. And, and you know, I, I think as the years have went on, it's not as much a, a, a hate relationship as it is just a competition thing. You know, I think these kids hang out at the pool. They go eat at Karatas together. Connor Snap, it's their cousin, first cousin. So, I mean, you know, it's even family, you know, Coach Snap's family. So, you know, we, uh, we're we excited about it. It's going to be fun. You know, win or lose, you know, me and Coach Reed talk, win or lose. You know, I'm, I'm just happy to split. We, you know, nobody wants to lose, but we're both pretty good. We're both two different teams and two different styles. Um, so, but, but the big reason comes, you know, in March when the district tournament rolls around. That, that's when the big games roll around. And, you know, right now it's about getting better. And uh, I, I think we do, we'll do that as the year goes on. And both teams are young. Both teams are talented. 
and uh, both teams can score the ball. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I know everybody's really excited about that first game of the season for sure.